Once we understand how to style this beautiful login form, let's take a look at how to add icons inside this project and how to use it. So I'm going to open a new tab here and I'm going to search for font awesome. I'm going to search for font awesome icon and open the fontawesome.com website. And from this website, you can get your favorite icons. So just click on these icons. And from here, you can choose your favorite icons. Most of the icons are free. You can choose any icon from this list. I already have my icons. So I'm going to just click on this dock. And from here, you can notice how you can use these icons inside your project. You can either use this eye tag and specify the class name. The class name is the icon name. For example, if you want to add a solid icon inside your project, you can just simply add here fast. It means it is a solid icon and then specify the name of your icon, which is FA camera. So this will just simply import the camera icon in your project. And then if you want to use the regular and light icon, you have to get the paid membership of this font awesome icon. But we are not going to do that. Instead, we're going to use these free icons. So just for that, once you understand how to use this icon, let me show you how you can import these font awesome icons inside your project. I'm going to just simply back to the Google and here I'm going to search for font awesome CDN. And from this cdnjs.com, from this website, I'm going to get the CDN of this latest font awesome icon. You can notice the version of the latest font awesome is 5.15. I'm going to get the all.mean.css file from here. So what you have to do is you just have to copy this all.mean.css file. So I'm going to click on this copy link tag like this. So this will just copy this link with the link tag. And then I'm going to back to my project and I'm going to open the public folder. Inside that I have this index.html. I'm going to open that. And inside this index.html here at the top, I have this bootstrap link. Just after that, here I'm going to add a comment like this and add here font awesome icons and I'm going to add my CDN link here like this. So when I paste the link, you will have the link tag and inside that you have the href attribute. So this will just successfully link the font awesome icons with your project. Let me save this file, close this CDN and close this font awesome website. Close this tab as well, back to my website. And now let me show you how you can use these fonts inside this project. So let's suppose you want to add email icon inside this text box. And then you want to add a password icon inside this password text box. So what you have to do is you just need to open your form like this. And then you can notice here I have this division tag of form group. Inside that I have this input text box. Just after this input text box just down here I'm going to add here i tag like this and then specify here a class name. So here I'm going to say icon email. Now, this is not the font awesome icon name. Instead, I'm going to use my custom classes and using CSS, I'm going to import the font awesome icon. In my previous website designing tutorials, we understood how we can add font awesome using HTML. You just have to specify the font name inside your HTML. Instead of using that method, I'm going to use the CSS to import icons inside this project. So I'm going to just specify here my custom class names, icon and email. Just add that to this second input text box. Here I'm going to add i tag again and specify class name, which is going to be icon lock. Save this file back to the login.scss and inside this login.scss, here I'm going to add that icons. So I'm going to just back to the form box because inside this form box, I have all my input text boxes. So I'm going to open that. And just down here, I'm going to add a comment and say importing icons. And here I'm going to simply say dot icon. I'm going to select my icon class and then I'm going to select my email class. As you know, we have both these classes to the same HTML element. So I can access both these classes like this. Just for that, I'm going to call a pseudo selector before to this class like this. And to this email class using this before pseudo selector. So I'm going to specify here content like this and in the double code I'm going to specify the icon code let me show you where you can get this icon code just open up the font awesome website click on the icons and for example let's say you want to get the email icon and you click on this envelope and from here you can either use this this HTML code to add this icon in your HTML or you can use this code this unique code 
So as I said, there are two methods of adding font or some icons inside your project. You can use this HTML code or you can use this unique code. Right now, I'm using this unique code. I'm going to copy this code of this icon and specify that here like this. And before this code, make sure you specify backward slash. Just out of that, before this code, you need to extend the font awesome font family. Let me show you what I want to say. If you want to import this icon, you need to specify font family to this class. So I'm going to say here extend and then I'm going to call here a class called font awesome. And I'm going to create this font awesome class inside my extends.scss file right here. I'm going to simply create here a class called font awesome. Make sure the class name is exactly same. And then I'm going to specify font family to it. Font family is going to be font awesome 5 free. So this is the font family name to these icons. You need to add this statement right here. Let me save this file back to my login and save this file as well. Back to my project and you can notice here I'm going to have this envelope icon here. Now let me just specify position to this icon. Right now, I have this icon just out of this email address. I want to add this icon on the right side of this input text box right here. To do that, I have a property called position relative. When I specify absolute property to this icon, I can place this icon to the right side of the screen. Let me show you how. Before these import icons, here I can just simply say icon and to this icon, I'm going to specify position and this is going to be the absolute position and I'm going to specify right 25 pixel and top is going to be 10 pixel. If I specify this, save the changes, you can notice I'm going to have this icon to the right side of this email text box. Now I'm going to do the same for this password as well. So just down here, I'm going to say dot icon and this time I'm going to select lock class. Because as you know, inside my login form, I have a class called log. I'm going to select that and call a pseudo selector, which is before. And to this pseudo selector, I'm going to copy this extend, specify that here, and then call here content property of CSS and in the double quote, specify backward slash. And then I'm going to call here F023. I'm going to save this file. You can notice I don't have any icon here because the light version of this icon is not available inside the font awesome website. If you search for lock inside this icon, you don't have this light version. You have to use this solid version of this lock. So what you need to do is you have to specify here, extend and then specify font bold. You have to specify font with bold to this icon. When I save the changes, as you can see, you're going to have the password icon here inside this input text box. Now, I hope you understand how to link Font Awesome website to your React project and how you can import fonts using CSS inside your React application. So next, we're going to understand how to create this left side of this form.